Hello friends and welcome back to another video in the React JS series. In this video, we will talk about how we can add CSS, how we can use CSS styling to style the React components that we are creating. Now, if you have seen the previous videos of this series, you know how you can create components, how JSX works, how import export work, and what are the basic files that are involved in a basic React project. So we have covered all these things. And you must be wondering that, okay, you know, applying CSS should not be difficult because as you can see on the screen, we have this app.css file, which is right now empty. So yes, if you add CSS directly over here and you use, you know, proper ID attribute or class name attribute, you will be able to style. But there are different other ways and different, you know, uh, important stuff that I wanted to talk about. So in case of CSS, you can have inline styling, which is a little tricky, but I'll cover it in this video. You can have external CSS, which we already have in imported app.css. So we can add style to this and use in the uh, React components. We can also make the app.css, which is a CSS file, act as a module. So we'll cover how we can do that. So let's get started. So we'll start with using the ID attribute, uh, you know, to style a single element in the uh, React component. And then we'll use the class name as well to style multiple elements. So let's see how we can do this. Let me just remove this. In app.js, we have nothing but a basic heading and we have the student component. Now, one thing to note over here is if I have to style this H1, I can do this. Add the stylish, you know, ID over here and then use this uh, ID selector in my CSS to provide the styling, right? So I can do this. I can say color blue. And as you can see, the color is blue now. I can also give any hex code over here and say 4535AA, which is the purple shade that we use at study tonight. So now it is looking like this, right? But I cannot use this over a component. So I have this student component. If you must be thinking that, okay, this is also like a, you know, custom HTML. No, doesn't work like that. So if I do this, it won't affect anything. This will just provide an ID attribute to this. No styling will be added. So we cannot do this. If we have to add styling to whatever, you know, this is bringing, we have to get to the student component and add the styling over here, right? So if I have to, for example, add styling over here, you get to see this welcome Abhishek to study application converted into purple color. Although we should not be using this, if I have to use it on multiple, then I should make it a class. And if you have to use class name, so you cannot just use directly the class attribute in JSX, you use it like this class name in camel case. So I've also covered about this in my second video, in my third video, in which I talked about JSX. So this is how attributes are. It is not written in kebab case. It is written in camel case, which is this style. So kebab case is this. Right. We don't use this. We use this because in JS we use this and JSX is nothing but JavaScript and XML. Right. So we did this and we have imported this in app.js. So I don't have to import app CSS directly in this because it is automatically getting over here. And in this student component, when it is rendered, it is getting, you know, the app.css styling. So that's one way of doing it. Now you would ask, I want to not get into the trouble of writing everything in the app.css, although you should. But what if I want to write my own styling over here and I use it just like, you know, we used to do in HTML using the style attribute. So yes, you can do that as well, although I would not recommend it, but you can do it. And it's always good to know different ways of doing the same thing. So let me cover that. As you can see over here, as soon as I wrote style and pressed enter, I got this style. Now this curly brackets are used for executing JavaScript expressions. So this is not expecting a key value pair for CSS properties. It is expecting something related to JavaScript, maybe an object, a variable, etc. And that's what we have to give to this style attribute to provide styling. So what we do is we create an object. So let me create an object, my style. I will use curly brackets because an object is created using curly brackets with key value pairs. So what I'll do is I'll put in over here color and I'll say, let's say red. And I can add more properties as well. Let's say uh, text decoration. So I have to use this styling again, like I said, CSS properties. If you want to use them in JSX or JavaScript component, you have to use it in camel case. You cannot write this text decoration. No, this will give error. You have to write this and let's say underline, right? And what else we can do? Let's say, um, uh, let's have background color as well, right? So I'll have background color of, uh, 
hash 4535aa let's make this white so if i save it i'm getting an error which is good because i've not added this over here now as you can see we got this uh, we have got a background color and the text color is white text decoration is underlined let's remove this text decoration not looking cool and add some padding let's say 10 pixels oops i'll have to use this like this and i've got this padding as well so now it started looking nice right so this is how you can provide inline styling to your html or jsx uh, tags not html jss tag Although, again, like I said, this is not recommended. It's better you use the class name style and you move this one to... And I'll have to change it a little. Yeah. We can move this over here. What class I did provide? Nothing. So let's say... Um, text box. And we provide this over here. Text box. So I'll have to change a couple of things like this. And uh, yeah, I think this should be fine. What's the problem? Yep. Yeah. Uh, still not working. Okay, so we have provided this text box over here and in the student. Okay, we have not saved. Sorry. Sorry guys, so I've saved it and you can see that, okay, this class name is working fine. So now we know that how we can uh, write CSS code in the CSS file, which is external style. And we also know how we can write style uh, using the style attribute. For that, we'll have to create an object. So most of the things that you would see, just like, you know, we saw in the last video, props are also nothing but objects. So similarly, if you have to provide in any value, for example, here we learned about style attribute. We have to create an object and then only, you know, we can provide those values, right? So in JSX, everything has to be JavaScript. So now the third thing, third important thing. So when you write React code or if when you are working on a React project, this is not considered as the React way of doing things because I've used a string directly over here. And in this student.js as well, I've used a, you know, a string directly over here, right? So this is not considered as the React way of doing things. Now, how I can make it as React style so for that, you know, I'll have to make this app.css act as a module and how I can do that. So in app.js, if I put in like this, let's say styles from app.css, I don't see any change, right? Because it's still being treated as a normal CSS file. So how do I make it work as a module? So for that, I'll have to rename this, rename it and add module to this. So now I'm getting an error, obviously, because the name has changed. But now it will start acting as a module. So if I do this, uh, all the styling has gone because now it is acting as a module. So when this starts acting as a module, this styles become as an object, which is getting imported from this. And every property that I've written in this module.css will act as a property associated with this particular object. So if in order to use it, the first thing that I'll have to do is I'll have to use curly brackets because for JavaScript, we use curly brackets for executing any expression in JSX. I'll put in this, I'll use the dot operator and I'll have this stylish. So as you can see, the color changed to purple because we have this over here. The stylish is acting as a property. Text box will also be acting as a property. Now, uh, the right way would be now if I just, you know, Yeah, I was assuming that this will happen. So now because this is acting as a module, I'll have to import this in my student component as well. So let's do this. And now it is working fine. So in case of CSS, the first thing is that you can simply add CSS code to your app.css file and you can use it. The only thing that you have to, uh, you know, make sure is that in app.js or in any component, you don't use any styling with the component in the JSX. You cannot do that. You can use it on HTML style JSX elements like, you know, on H1 or on P or etc. Other similar HTML elements, right? In case of class, you have to use class name, not class. And if you want to provide inline styling, then you have to create a object, provide the styling in it and then use it in the style attribute as this, right? 
So this is how you do it. You have to provide all the CSS styling over here. That's how you do it in case of inline styling, although that is not recommended. And if you have to go complete React way, then you should, you know, convert your app.css to a module by adding module to the name of the CSS file and then start importing it just like any other module. And then this act as an object in which all the CSS properties are different properties, which you can access using the dot operator, just like we have done over here. So now we have not used uh, any, you know, strings over here in the ID attribute. As you can see, we have simply used the object style of writing uh, JS code. So this is the react way. You do not uh, use directly strings and you use objects instead. So in case of student dot uh, JS as well, uh, we have imported the app.module.css as styles and we get all the CSS properties as part of this object and we can access it like this using the dot operator styles dot whatever is the property name, whatever is the CSS property name. So that's how you use CSS to style, you know, different components, different user interfaces that you create using your React components. Now, this is obviously very basic styling that I have shared, but if you want to create extensive design as well, you know, this is the way forward, right? So I hope this helps you understand all the three ways that I've covered in this video. And now you can start using CSS while creating your React components and you can make your React components look very stylish. So that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you know whenever I upload new videos in this React.js series so that you can also learn React.js side by side and keep on practicing. In the next video, I'll talk about how you can add event handling and you can, you know, make things functional when you are creating any React application. And then we would move on to creating a small React based game. So stay tuned. And if you have any confusion, you know, post in the comment section below and I'll help you with your confusion. So thank you so much for watching. See you soon.